Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we've got a beer which is quite widely available in Tesco and Waitrose. And we're off to Little Valley Brewery. And I think they're an organic brewery. Um, I'll read you a blurb in a minute. And we've got um, a blonde beer, and it is a bottle of Todd's Blonde, cl clocking in at 5% ABV. It says organic uh, bottle conditioned beer. So I'll read you a little bit of the blurb for you. Um, like I say, this one, this beer in particular has been quite widely available. Um, it says, at Little Valley, we make beer that takes you further, look past the scene, go beyond what's been and focus on what matters, quality, taste, character, and that's what it's all about. Um, the journey, bypass the lager and follow your nose to the multi aroma of Todd's Blonde. Um, it says, store the bottle up by it. So it is bottle conditioned, it's organic. Um, so there you go. Get rid of the last one. See what it's all about. So there is the Little Valley Crown. I have seen some of their beers available in, in National Trust, in National Trust shops actually. Um, I will endeavour to get some next time I go to a National Trust shop. Don't go there much because it's expensive. So there we go. This was a couple of quid. As you can see, it's not that blonde to be honest. It's a little bit. It looks more blonde your side, but this side, believe you me, it doesn't look that blonde. Yeah, just seen an asteroid going. Oh, here we go. All the yeast is going in now. There we go. Some floaters in there now, boys and girls. That's what you want, didn't you? Have some floaters. So pretty up to the light. It's more pear drop in colour than blonde. Uh, soft, medium flow of carbonation going up to a very much a dissipating head. We have lots of... <clears throat> you can see that. Odds and sods and bits and bobs and God knows what else. So let's get the aroma. Slight hint of lemon, slight maltiness, but not much in the aroma. So I'm going to go in. Cheers. Organic bottle conditioned blonde beer. It's got taste notes that would certainly appeal to a lager drinker because they're not, it's not overtly bitter. It's a, quite malty. Um, it has got lager characteristics about this beer. You know, when I picked this up, I didn't read the blurb or anything, or I thought it was just a blonde blonde ale but it doesn't feel completely like a blonde ale because it doesn't look like a blonde ale it looks more like a lager in color um, and the feel of the beer the mouthfeel is of a lager malty the maltiness is the, uh, the taste note which is uh, very much dominant in this and you're getting the bitterness, but you're not getting really much hoppy notes. You're not getting any lemon or anything like that, or grassiness, which you would get from a blonde ale. So, um, for me, I mean, it works. It works to a degree that if I knew a lager drinker who wanted to try it, I'll say try it because it is pretty drinkable, quite enjoyable. And yeah, but for, for the likes of me who wants a, a blonde traditional ale, 
It's nothing like that at all. Nothing like that at all. But it's still not... I'm still not disappointed because it is actually a nice beer. Um, easy drinking chugger. And you can't really go wrong with that. And especially if you can get a lager drinker um, off the lager, off the macro lagers and drink that and enjoy it, then it's job done, isn't it? It really is. Um, so I would definitely buy this again, actually. Definitely buy us again. It's, it's definitely a summer beer, more than anything. A few of these chilled in the summer sun. Happy days. So, guess the thumbs up for me. Boys and girls, Little Valley Brewery and their Todd's Blonde. Thumbs up for me. That's a nice little cracking little, nice little cracking little beer. Especially for a lager drinker, as I keep saying. Thank you very much for watching this one. See you all again on another beer review. Bye-bye.